2013, I decided to start Naked Girls. Naked Girls is a group of women that just live open, honest, and emotionally exposed. I wanted to do that because when I was going through really tough times in my marriage, I felt like I still had to sing and preach and teach and dance and do everything uh, except be honest that my life was cracking like glass. No matter how much I said I'm struggling, or I'm having a hard time, it was just pray, it's going to be all right. Pray, it's going to be all right. Pray, it's going to be all right. And I'm like, I want somebody to listen to what I'm struggling with and maybe at, actually give me some practical tips to, to help me. But it, that just wasn't the way it was in the church. It was almost like you have to put on this smile and pretend like things are okay when it's not okay. So I said I never wanted another lady to be going through a hard time and having to wear a mask. I wanted her to be able to remove the mask and live open, honest, and emotionally exposed and so I started which started out as just a blog with a, uh, me and a few of my friends and it just kind of evolved we um my friends didn't stick with it because they weren't ready to be honest I remember a guy told me it's going to be really hard for you to find people that want to be transparent I thought he didn't know what he was talking about because I'm like, it's easy just being who you are and to remove the mask and stop lying. But what I found is that so many people are concerned about the opinion of others that they, they've they just become comfortable in wearing a mask and not being who they are. But thankfully, I connected with women in Texas and in Michigan and Virginia that understood the concept of naked and wanted to run with it. In 2018, however, I got kicked off Facebook because I was just always saying things that I didn't think was controversial. I thought they were common sense things. Like I got kicked off and thrown in Facebook jail for saying Father's Day is for men, which I didn't see how that was a big deal. You know, wanting to, to really celebrate men and not, I didn't feel like women should be keeping their children from the fathers and I, I didn't know that was a controversial way to think. And so I got kicked off Facebook eventually. And my friend said, start putting your videos on Twitter. I started putting videos on Twitter because I still felt like I had a message to get out. In 2016, I released my book, Keep It Naked, A Naked Girl's Guide to Live Life Authentically. And I did that because people were just always asking me advice. It's, it's an aggressive self-help book based on my life experiences. I talk about everything from parenting and relationships to religion and divorce. And I was just open and honest in that book. And I used to always do videos as well and go live like every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. But once I got kicked off Facebook, I wasn't able to do that anymore. So I started putting videos on Twitter and conservatives started to really flock to me. So that's how I got wrapped up in politics because I was thinking, what are all these white folks doing? What do they want with me? You know, because they just loved me and I didn't know that my values were really conservative. I had always voted Democrat because that's what my family did. That's what the church did. That's the community that I was raised in. And, um, but somehow, you know, I had, these values that were really instilled in me as a child. And I'm like, oh gosh, I guess I've been voting against my very own values. Mm -hmm. And so from that, I've just kind of been, you know, people love the idea of being naked and being open and being honest. And I've just kind of found the, uh, the platform to allow me to just be who I am.